Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you this new project that I'm gonna be working on. This is an old historic house out here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Uh, I'm not sure what the year is on this house, but it's pretty old. Um, and I'm gonna take you inside. This is a fully, fully uh, renovated house, or it will be. So we're gonna be putting in a five ton furnace coal condenser for the downstairs. It's gonna be a 92% furnace. And then on the upstairs, it's gonna be a three and a half ton heat pump system. It's gonna be all train equipment. So I wanna take you inside and check everything out. This is a pretty cool house. All right, so like I said before, this house is gonna be fully renovated. So this is gonna be the kitchen area here. They completely gutted it. They're gonna be starting over. Uh, some of the house is gonna be existing. So like we have the dining room here. Um, and then as we come through here, we have the front foyer entrance area with the stairwell going up to the second floor. Um, this actually has three stories. The third is gonna be more of like a storage area, so they're not gonna condition that as of yet. But uh, yeah, so this is a pretty cool house. Check out this old return grill. This thing is pretty heavy duty, and it says caloric on it. So after talking to the customer a little bit about that return grill, he said he did some research on it and found that that's an old uh, coal furnace from, I think he said the 1800s. I guess, I I, I'm not exactly sure the time frame on it, but he said that's the research that he found um, on that particular grill, which is pretty neat. Um, I kind of want to do some research on it myself just for the heck of it and see, see what's going on with that. But they're going to keep that, which is pretty awesome. We're just going to you know, utilize that as the main return for the downstairs. Uh, I'm going to take you upstairs and show you they actually, for, so for the downstairs, they did have an existing um, furnace, not the old uh, coal one, but a newer updated furnace. Um, so it was just heat downstairs or down here. And then upstairs they have uh, an air conditioner. I'm gonna show you that. There's a big commercial sized air handler up in the attic. And there's a you know condenser on the roof over there. So we're gonna be getting rid of all that and going with a whole new system. But I wanted to show you upstairs uh, on that system and show you that thermostat, man. I'm gonna keep this thermostat, it's really cool, you gotta check it out. All right, so now I'm up here on the second floor. Uh, as you can see above me, above my head, this was a chase up here for all the existing duct work. Um, and we're gonna utilize that chase on the new system. We're gonna run our main trunk all the way through here and then do uh, sidewall supplies going into each room. So that should work out well. But here's the thermostat I wanted to show you. It's an old carrier. But man, I'm definitely going to be taking that off the wall and that's going to be my little collector's item. I'm going to keep that guy. No telling how old that thing is. I want to do some research and figure out, but, um, but yeah, I mean, it should be a pretty, pretty straightforward job. Um, here's the, the main return for the upstairs. And then we need to go up to the third floor to get to the attic where the air handler is going to be. But yeah, it's pretty cool. They have the fireplace coming from downstairs, one chimney that goes all the way up. So that way there's a fireplace downstairs. And there's also one here. So on this particular job, I am gonna be having some help come in and do all the duct work for me just because that's the most time consuming part of the project. Um, and I wanna make sure we get this job done in a timely manner. So. I'm going to have someone come in that was, that was highly recommended to me by another HVAC contractor here in the area. Uh, and all they do is duct work. So they're going to come in, they'll be able to knock it out. And then I'm going to do all the, all the other things. So I'm going to run the, uh, the vent pipe for the furnace, the gas line, the refrigerant lines, um, you know, everything else except for the duct work itself. So, so that should work out well. We should all work together and get this job done in a very uh, reasonable time. So check this out here. We're up in the attic now. This is the air handler for the second floor cooling system. So this is an old carrier air handler. There's the tag right there. That's pretty cool. I was hoping there would be like an emblem on there that I could take off for keepsake as well. But anyway, we're gonna have to probably tear this thing apart possibly to get it outside because we are removing everything that's old and existing and the new air handler will go here as well. 
But yeah, I just wanted to come uh, show you guys, you know, this whole old setup. It's pretty cool. I'd really like to know the age of this equipment somehow. I don't see any model or serial number anywhere to be able to dictate what this thing is. Maybe the condenser up on the roof will show me. So anyhow, this thing's pretty cool. All right, so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys really quick on this project. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. I think this is gonna be a cool job to do. Uh, super happy that I'm getting help on it, to be honest with you. Uh, Cause man, it would take me forever to do a job this size. We're talking eight and a half tons uh, for the whole system, not including, you know, bathroom exhaust vents, kitchen hood um, vents, gas lines, you know, all the other odd and end things you need to do for a project like this. But I don't know, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I hope you guys are too. I'm gonna show you the process along the way and make some cool content, you know, throughout the, uh, the process. So anyway, this is gonna be a short little video for you guys. Just wanted to show you a project that I was uh, gonna be starting soon. So hope you guys like what I'm doing. Hit that thumbs up if you do. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, see you guys later.